Hi everyone, it's Ella Whitaker, exclusive block status presenter for Unique, and today I am enjoying the outdoors, and in Texas it's hot. So once a week I try to spend some time outside and make my office the backyard, just so I can get a little bit of color. And I'm not naked underneath here, I'm actually wearing a bathing suit. So today's video is to specifically talk about sponsoring and what are the responsibilities as a sponsor. And I think this is very, very important for those people who, you know, sign on, you know, it's not only sales, but it's also building a team. And what most people don't understand is that once you actually sign on and you have people that will join you, because there are many people that will come and join your business, once they join you, you become a leader in this company automatically. And with that being said, you need to train and coach those individuals. Now, if you are not selling or working the business, you cannot expect your team to do the same. I'm going to be absolutely honest with you. If you are not leading by example and selling the qualified requirement each month, which is $125, or if you wanna hit pink, it's 250, but if you're not doing work, you cannot expect your team to do the same. So if you're recruiting those people and you're not training and coaching, don't take those people on. It's simple. If you have people who want to join Unique but don't want to assume the responsibility as a sponsor to train and coach, send them over my way. I'll do it. I'll tell you that right now. I'll do it. Or get your upline. And if you do not expect to spend time in this business, give it to someone else on our team, on our team. Because if you don't wanna do it, I'll do it. The worst thing is, is to have a sponsor, you know, with recruits, and those recruits underneath don't sell. And what's the reason that they're not selling? Part of coaching and training is to identify what your team needs to do. And for our method and our technique is to sell $500 a month is a goal and to have three new recruits each month. It's a 5-3 formula. And that is simply what you need to duplicate with your team and yourself. So if you're not identifying that for your team to have a 5-3 formula each month, then something's going wrong. If your team is not qualifying each month, something is going on. Your first goal as a recruit, so when you are a sponsor and you have a new person, the first goal that they should have is fast start. That fast start bonus of $2,000, $2,000 in PRS, three recruits and they don't have to be qualified in 90 days is a fantastic incentive because each presenter will receive Y cash in US it's $250 and Y cash $300 in Canada and so forth in each individual country you get Y cash you get to get new product anything you want you can you can get the product for yourself you can get product and sell it I guess and um, or you can you know use it as incentive for your team so when you start recruiting people, you really need to have an action plan of what you're doing because now you're a leader. You can't just stop and, um, with Unique, not sell, and expect your team to do the work for you. That's just not how it works. You have to work just as hard as they do. So what I would simply ask all of you is to take sponsorship very seriously. Now, what I do want to add is some people blame their sponsors for not doing well. Okay, it's happened. However, if a person has a good work ethic and decides to spit, take their business to another level, they can go up their upline and talk to their, their uplines, their elite, their block status, or whoever. We are always there to support. But there are many top presenters in this company, for instance, Katie Thompson, whose upline uh, is not even black status, and she worked her business because she knew the growth that she could have where she is today, which is a black level one presenter. So
So when you blame your sponsor for not being there for you, you have other support that's in your upline. So don't re don't forget that that your sponsor is not the end all and be all in your business. However, a sponsor still needs to be there and not go MIA. So I hope this video is very helpful for you. And if you recruit within your team, be there for your team. Lead by example. And also duplicate the 5-3 formula plus fast, fast start, especially when they first start. So that are some, those are some tips for today. And please take sponsorship seriously. It's a fun learning experience. There's a leader in all of you. We're not born as leaders, but there are skills and leaderships that you will learn from the team Lashpreneurs, which is our downline. So I hope this was really helpful. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.